this tutorial on how to create that build up sim. It's using many different songs, and a particular song I'm just going to show you today is Resurrection. I also did a remake, remake of this song, so if you uh, want to check it out, please uh, follow the link or annotation that I'll put on. But yeah, I'll show you how it's used in this song, I'll just show you a quick clip of it here. Now I'll show you without the um, like build up synth. As you can see, there's nowhere near as much effect. So, um, putting this in your songs will make it sound a lot better. I also um, have a build up synth in one of my new songs. I'm just going to show you a quick clip of it as well, here as well. Show how it can be used. So you can hear it um, here being built up. So, anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. Right, so you're going to start off with a start off with our combinator. And inside that combinator, you want to create a maelstrom, and you want to initialize the patch. Right for the oscillator A, you want to change it to PWM. There it is. You want to leave the octave, semi, and cent where they are. Also, the attack, delay, sustain, and release but you're going to enable this button here and you're also going to enable the shaper and you want to bring it down to noise mode and bring the amount up to about 84 you want to leave the filter A mode at LP12 but bring the frequency of the filter array all the way up now we're also going to enable oscillator B and change that to a PWM as well. Again we're going to leave all this bit here and for filter B you're going to leave it as it is. For the mod A you want to bring the rate to about 84 and then bring the pitch down to I'd say about minus 18. That's it for that. You also want to bring the range up to about 20. And yeah, I think that's it for the synth. So we're going to create an equalizer, an M class equalizer, even. And you want to enable the low cut, the low shelf, and the high shelf. For the low sh shelf frequency, bring it all the way up to 204.7 Hz. Bring the gain up as well, just to, to about 7.4 decibels. And leave the Q where it is. For the high shelf, bring the frequency again up to about 7.786 kHz. And bring the, down, get, bring the gain down a bit to about minus 0.6 decibels and leave the Q where it is. I want to create a compressor. Bring up the input gain a tiny little bit to 1.5 decibels. Bring the threshold to minus 7.1 decibels. Leave the ratio where it is. And bring the attack to 60 milliseconds. Leave the release where it is, and then just leave the output gain as well. And then create a RV7 digital reverb. Now you're going to want to change the setting of the reverb to large hole. Bring the size down to minus 18. Bring the decay down to about minus 14. Bring the damp up a tiny bit to about 50 and bring the dry wet 
to about 24 and you want to right click on the RV7 digital reverb and create a RV7000 advanced reverb bring the decay to 107 leave the HF damp where it is bring the high EQ up to about 10 and bring the dry wet all the way down to 28 and you want to create a maximizer as well bring up the input gain to 4.5 decibels you want to enable the 4 millisecond look ahead as it makes it sound a bit more nicer leave the attack and release and bring the output gain up to 3.4 decibels so let's see how that sounds now what I need to get this sound is have a adjustment on the pitch so I'll put um, I'll show you how it sounds without the pitch effects as with the pitch. This creates rising tension and creates more energy in the song. So if you want to adjust the pitch all you got to do is right click on the combinator's pitch or you can right click on the Maelstrom's pitch here. You just right click and click the edit automation button. This will bring you up or bring you over to the pitch bend here. And then you have a little option like this, and then you can just simply draw in where how you want the pitch bend to go up. So if you look at this, you can see here's the notes as well. This is for the resurrection song. But if you want to create your own notes, you can like do similar notes to your lead symphony song. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching the tutorial, and if you like this video, please subscribe.